roads are so nice to run on. It's zip tied. It's zip tied so that it doesn't fall out, but yeah. I think you're supposed to pull the top out. Yeah, it's just stuck wedged. Well, how does that work? Well, that's kind of odd. <laughs> I pull this off, but I pull the top off and it's duct taped and, and this goop is on there. It's the only way to do it. It's an interesting, it took, you actually have to take the wire tie, pull it out of the hole. Wow, I've never seen that way of putting a, a, a log and keeping it in place. That's pretty cool. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Woo, that was close. <laughs> On this episode of Cache Canada, we've decided to take the road less traveled. And that has made all the difference. What do you mean? The poem. Oh, I well, didn't know. That's the only part of the poem I know, the road less traveled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right here. It must have been fixed since the last time somebody was here because the last few logs say the container was broken and eaten by critters and the content scattered around. This certainly doesn't look too eaten. bad. No, nope, looks good. <laughs> That geocache was placed by one of our patrons, A and K. Yeah, and we're really glad that they put it out for us to find. And you could become a patron of Cache Canada by going to patreon.com slash cache Canada. Taking the road less traveled, you don't see as many people. It's uh, very quiet, it's isolated. There's also not a whole lot of reception for your phone, so you better have your GPS programmed. And there's not a whole lot of places to stop, and not a whole lot to see, except for trees and rocks, birds, hey, a bear, and of course, a moose. And some rivers, lakes, streams, lichen, trees, more rocks, more trees. <laughs> There's also not a whole lot of abundance to geocaches because they're not as proliferate where people 
don't go. So you have to keep that in mind as well. And we were lucky to make sure that we programmed the GPS because their phone has had no service for several hours. approximately knee-high near a big rock. Now we just have to find a big rock amongst all the rocks. Now that classifies as a big rock. <laughs> oh yeah. There it is. Right there. Yeah. Coordinates are a bit off, but thankfully to one of the most recent logs, there was a redirect and coordinates and they brought us right here. Lyric Glass is saying she is really liking this forest. <laughs> So we made it to Wawa, which was our destination for this episode, and we're at one of Wawa's landmarks, the Big Oil Drill. But most people think of the Wawa Goose. So we're going to leave you here. I'm going to take a look for the geocache that's somewhere on this oil rig, and then uh, we'll see you next week on Cache Canada. And the reason we're coming to Wawa is for Lyric Last to work on an adventure lab she's creating for the Trans-Canada Highway Adventure Lab series, which crosses the country from one ocean to the other. <laughs>